In this video, I want to go ahead and cover the basics of the stock offset. Now, to give you an idea of what the stock offset is, here I am, and I'm, you know, I'm in my character, and I aim. You can see my firearm, when I go to look at it in third-person view, is right in the dead center of the character. So basically, the reticle is lined up right with the camera, or where the camera socket is on the actual mesh. Now, that is going to be uh, different for what other people see. Like, this is not what other clients will see. So if I play with two clients, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So if we look at them, there we go, and I go to aim, you can see it's not going to the dead center, like it's a, like, and that is correct. That's the point of the stock offset. So it basically offsets where the point of aim is going to be. So we can actually control that on a per firearm basis. So here we have the M4, and if we head down to the FPS template section and go to aiming, you can see here we have the shoulder stock offset. Now this is where you control basically where it's going to be positioned. So let's go ahead and give a good look at this guy currently. So here I aim, so we know two things. One, we want to make the stock or the firearm go farther to the right side, so closer towards the right shoulder. And two, it needs to come back closer to the, uh, to the shoulder of the character when it goes off like that. So what we're going to do is this X is the left to right. So the farther it goes down, so like negative X is closer to the right shoulder. Positive X is closer to the left shoulder. And zero is right in the dead center. So we know we want to go to the right shoulder. So we're going to go farther. So we're going to go negative 12 instead of negative 8. And we know we need to come back towards our character. So we want to go more on the Y. So we're going to bump this up to like 18. And then Z as you can assume, is just up and down. So po positive is up and negative is down. Let's see where this new value gives us, what it looks like. All right, so that's pretty good. That's like right there in the shoulder pocket. And I'd say I'm happy with that. So the next thing that we want to do is going to actually be the head tilt. So if you recall in the beginning, I had you uh, basically take this handle head node right here, or layer right here, and move it out of the way to disconnect it. Well, we are now on the updated version. I went ahead and updated, so this is what you'll probably uh, be getting in the next update or so. But basically, you can link this back up, like so, and everything else inside of it is already taken care of for you. So basically, I added this section to be done uh, to where you don't have to really worry about it. So you also notice we have one more node here, which is this guy which I will uh, reiterate in a little bit. So anyways, let's go ahead and test this out. So we have handle head linked back up. And now let's see what happens. Oops. So now you can see when I aim, my head rotates as well, and only for the third person view. So if I were to go into first person and look at this, or not first person, but a uh, controlled view, you can see the head is still straight. So it only affects other clients and kind of like what they see. And that's again, the intended result. And we can also tweak how far this goes. So let's look at this and see. Uh, I'd say that's a little extreme, it's not bad, but we'll probably move the firearm a little bit closer to the left shoulder and slightly, and do a little bit less with the head tilt. So let's do that. So again, that's right here into this head aim rotation. So we're at 45 degrees. Let's bump this down to like uh, 35. We'll go down by 10. Let's go a little bit closer to the left shoulder. So we're gonna go from negative 12 to negative 10. And that means we're gonna be pushing it closer to our chest. So we need to push the firearm away from us a little bit. So we're gonna to go to 15 instead of 18 for the Y. Now let's look. Okay, and in my opinion, that's a good bit better. Now, the only thing I wanna change now is the pull target for the elbows. So you can see, like, sorry, the firearm keeps hitting the camera. You can see the right shoulder is where the right elbow is basically sucked in and same thing with the left shoulder or the left elbow now the left elbow is good just the right one needs to be pushed out a little bit so what we can do is if you head to the set ik node and click on the two bone ik for the right hand so hand underscore r you will see this little guy here right behind so this is our pull target so if we look at the shoulder as i move it to the left you can see it opens it up and if I go that way, it sucks it in. So what we're gonna do is just move it out a little bit and look at the result. So 
this should push that shoulder out, which we did that a little bit too far, but you can see that it does. So we're going to go in just a little bit, get to a point where it doesn't look ridiculous. So let me undo to see roughly where it's at. All right, so that's where it was at default. Let's go out just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just, just enough. And that looks a good bit better. So it keeps it from being super sucked in. If you want to go farther out, you can. You know how to control it. Okay. All right, so that covers the stock offset, the head rotation, and adjusting the elbow a little bit. So that works, again, the same way for the left elbow if you want that to be pushed out. You do the exact same thing, but for the hand underscore L for the two bone IK. Now I had mentioned I added a new node here or a new layer, and I, I just realized I'm gonna have to go back a video and redo that. But this is for specifically. Uh, so basically, I'm redoing this like this video. This video has already been made before. I'm just redoing it. So, anyways, you can ignore this for now, but you should have this and. So I will see you in the next video.